We're asked to use polynomial fitting to find the formula for the nth term of the sequence a sub n with n greater than or equal to zero, which starts with one, two, eight, 19, 35, and so on. The closed formula for a sequence will be a degree k polynomial if and only if the sequence is delta k constant, meaning the kth sequence of differences is constant. To use polynomial fitting, we first determine whether the sequence is delta k constant, and then if it is, we find the coefficients of the closed formula by setting up and solving a system of equations. We need to begin by determining the sequence of first differences. Two minus one is one, eight minus two is six, 19 minus eight is 11, 35 minus 19 is 16. The sequence of first differences is one, six, 11, 16, and so on. Notice this sequence is arithmetic because the terms are increasing by five, which means the second differences which are the differences of the first differences, or the differences of the differences of the original sequence, will be a constant sequence. Notice six minus one is five, 11 minus six is five, 16 minus 11 is five, and so on. The sequence of second differences is a constant sequence, and therefore the original sequence is delta two constant, and therefore the closed formula must be in the form of a sub n equals a n squared plus b n plus c, Notice the closed formula is a degree two polynomial. So now we need to determine the values of a, b, and c by setting up and solving a system of equations. Looking back at the original sequence, notice the first term a sub zero is equal to one. When using the formula to find a sub zero, n is equal to zero, and therefore we can say that a sub zero is equal to a times the square of zero plus b times zero plus c, which must equal a sub zero, which is equal to one. Simplifying here, notice this indicates that c is equal to one. Notice a sub one is equal to positive two. When using the closed formula to find a sub one, n is equal to one, a sub one is equal to a times the square of one plus b times one plus c, but we know c is equal to one, so let's put plus one. This must equal a sub one, which we know is equal to two. Simplifying, we have the equation a plus b plus one equals two. Let's go ahead and subtract one on both sides, which gives us the equation a plus b equals positive one. Notice a sub two is equal to eight. For a sub two, n is equal to two. Using the closed formula, we have a times the square of two plus b times two plus c, which is one, must equal eight. Simplifying, we have the equation four a plus two b plus one equals eight. Subtracting one on both sides, we have the equation four a plus two b equals seven. So again, our goal here is to determine the values of a, b, and c so we can find the closed formula. We already know c is equal to one, and therefore we solve the system of equations a plus b equals one and four a plus two b equals seven to determine the values of a and b. And we can solve this system using a variety of methods. We can use elimination, substitution, a matrix equation, an augmented matrix, and even graphing. Let's go ahead and use the method of elimination here. Let's eliminate the b terms by multiplying the first equation by negative two, which will make the b terms opposites. So again, we're going to multiply the first equation by negative two, and we'll leave the second equation in its original form. So multiplying both sides of the first equation by negative two, we have negative two a minus two b equals negative two. Don't forget to multiply both sides of the equation by negative two, and the second equation remains the same, four a plus two b equals seven, and now we add the two equations together. Negative two a plus four a is two a. Negative two b plus two b is zero, which is why we multiplied the first equation by negative two. We have two a equals negative two plus seven, which is positive five. Dividing both sides by two, we have a equals five halves. And now we need to determine the value of b. Let's go ahead and use the first equation, performing substitution into the equation a plus b equals one. We have five halves plus b equals one. To solve for b, we subtract five halves on both sides. We have b equals one minus five halves, which is two halves minus five halves. b is equal to negative three halves. 
Now we have all the information we need to determine the closed formula. We know A is equal to five halves. We know B is equal to negative three halves. And we know C is equal to one. The closed formula for the original sequence, one, two, eight, 19, 35, and so on, is A sub N equals A N squared plus B N plus C, which is five halves N squared minus three halves N plus one. I hope you found this helpful.